Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Raina Jenks, and I am here today um, to show you how I achieve this natural, neutral, everyday face. And it's really easy, really quick. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys like this look. Um, and yeah, we'll get right into it. All right, so of course you want to start off with a clean, fresh face and um, you want to use a primer, either a primer or a primer mist, something along those lines. Um, since this is going to be a really light look, I'm going to use just a primer mist today instead of a primer and I will be using my Pixie Glow Mist. Um, I uh, bought it maybe a few weeks ago and decided to start using it. I really, really like this stuff. So I will be using this stuff for a while. And I'm just going to spray down my face. This is just going to get all of the makeup to stick and stay in place all day. And um, I won't be using foundation, so um, this is just enough. I won't need a primer on top of this. Since I'll just be using powder today, I am using, what is this called? Cover Girl Queen Collection Lasting Matte Pressed Powder. And this is in the color Golden, which is the number 410. This is the color. And I'm just going to use a big fluffy powder brush to apply this. And you're not going to get full coverage. This is literally, this is very light coverage. I just need a base to go off of. And as you can see, my face is slightly blurred out by the powder. Um, <clears throat> but I still have my discolorations and blemishes just peeking through um, because this is just a natural face and um, you're not going to want to do anything heavy duty, especially in the hot summer. So yeah, that's why I'm just going with powder. And then next, um, I move on to brows. And you guys see me do my brows a billion times, but um, I'll put it in the video just for the sake of putting it in. I do, I have a slightly different technique, but it's not much different. Okay, so I'll just be using my NYX brow gel and espresso. You see me use this product. This is the only brow product that I really, really enjoy and it's very inexpensive. Um, I forget how much it costs, but it's definitely just drugstore price. Alright, and to clean up my brows, just to get it all nice and perfect and that fresh done look, I will be using my NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. And this is in the color Tan Bronze, which is CJ07. I need your love. And just blend it out with my finger to make it appear more natural. And I actually only do under the brow. I don't do on top because it just doesn't look natural to me. And to set the brows, make sure that they don't move anywhere. I like to uh, use my Flawless Brow Gel by BH Cosmetics. And the bottle is disgusting because obviously uh, it turned from clear to brown from using this <laughs> over um, my brow gel, so forgive the nastiness of how the bottle looks, but... And I just brush it through, 
brush the hairs up a little bit to define them and then swoop it on top so it's not st sticking out. I actually like to uh, set the concealer under my brow as well and I'll just take my e.l.f. concealer brush, dip it back into my pressed powder from CoverGirl, um, and just set that concealer under my brow. This is so that it doesn't slide all over the place as well as it sort of tones down the color of my concealer because it's slightly lighter, which I like. But I like to, since, especially since we're going for a natural look, um, I like to tone down the color of the concealer with this. All right, so um, the concealer that I use to highlight under my eyes is by L'Oreal, and it's the True Match Concealer, and this is in medium deep. This is what it looks like. And I like to highlight in sections because I like to blend it out before it gets too dry. So I'll do the eyes first. my handy dandy beauty blender which is damp by the way I'm just gonna dab until it's nice and blended out take that up to under the eye as well And this is a nice full coverage concealer if you're in the market for a full coverage concealer and um, it's obviously from the drugstore so not too bad of a price I can't remember how much I paid for it but it might have been like eight dollars or something like that I also take it along the sides of the nose a little bit just so I can kind of snatch it a little bit <laughs> that'll do and I'll continue highlighting just down the bridge of my nose. Just a little bit on my chin. And then a little bit on my forehead. Because I do have a small forehead, so I don't really need to do much. And then since this is a natural look and we're not going to bake or anything because I do have a separate powder for highlighting, but um, since this is a natural look and we're not baking, I go back to my pressed powder from CoverGirl and set my highlight with that. And this also tones down the yellowness of, oops, it's breaking up on me. Yeah, this also tones down the yellowness of the concealer makes it appear more of a natural highlight, which I like. To make sure my under eyes don't crease, I go back with my e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm just going to rub any lines that might have formed out with my pinky. And then go back to my pressed powder and then set the concealer under my eye. And that way you should not get any fine lines the whole day. Okay, so to continue adding dimension to the face, um, I won't be doing a heavy contour. I will just be going in with my NYX Matte Bronzer. And this is the color Deep Tan. I have a dedicated bronzing brush from Eco Tools. 
it's all right. Um, it's not my favorite brush. I don't know. I think I just have to get used to how it handles. Um, but anyways. And I'm just going to swoop it. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I like to be a little bit heavy on this bronzer because uh, I am darker toned so I do have to work more a little bit more to have it show up and look defined but the good thing with bronzer is since I'm not doing like a actual contour I don't have to be so perfect with it and I can be a little bit messy for some reason this side always shows up more. I don't know if it's the way I'm holding the brush. Doesn't matter, we're gonna blend it out anyway. <laughs> I do my temples and my top of my forehead to blend all these colors together. Then I go back to my handy dandy Cover Girl Press Powder once again to blend all this together. And I'm using my fluffy brush again. Okay, so that pretty much does the face makeup um, for now. Now we're going to move on to the eyes, which are extremely simple. I, I barely do anything, so. Um, I'm just going to go in with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and prime my eyelids. I need your love. And um, if you're going for a natural look, this stuff is really just it's really not extremely necessary, but I like to do it anyway. Oh, before I even go on to the eyes, I and this is a step I always forget to do. Always. And I don't understand why. So I'm gonna go back and just contour my nose just slightly. This is really just in a random bare essentials brush, but it's fluffy and angled, so I like to use it for this. And I take it above the eye as well, like the, uh, what do you call this? The bridge of the eye. And down my nose to the front. And I do the same on the other side. And my camera's about to overheat, so I might let it chill out for a minute and come back. All right, now back to the eyes. And this will be extremely simple. And I'm just going to my Tarte Lip Palette, my favorite palette in the whole wide world. And I'm going to go with Wanderer, which is right here. And just take my big blending brush and sweep that over the eyelid. And this color is pretty close to my skin tone, so I just like to use it to just brighten up my eye a little. And that's literally it. <laughs> and after that, I just go on and um, put on mascara, and this will be um, just my long comb mascara. We can move on to the lips now. For my neutral look, I usually do the same thing every time with my lips. And I first go in with my lip liner by Rimmel, and it's called Coffee Bean. Lipstick. 
lipstick, I use the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. This is in the color Sandstorm. It's important to make sure you, um, I don't even know what you call that, but blot, um, to mix the lip liner with the lip color so that it blends nice and evenly and you don't have that harsh lip liner line. And if you do that, you can pretty much wear any weird, like neutral color. Um, as long as you have a nice outliner that outlines your lips, um, that will complement that, then you're pretty much good. So yeah, this is definitely like my favorite go-to neutral lip. I love it and it never fails. So when I really don't know what to do with my lips, this is what I wear almost every time. To clean up on the outside of the lips, I'm going back to my CoverGo pressed powder once again. Alright, so from here I like to do my last finishing touches, which is blush and highlighter. So I'll go to... I do my blush first, and that will be with the contour and blush kit from BH Cosmetics. My favorite neutral blush is this color right here. And it's basically like a beigey pink color. And I'll use my Real Techniques blush brush to apply that. And I apply, I, I apply my blush like really sloppy, so don't mind me. And then for highlighter, everything else is pretty toned down and neutral. I kind of like to go ham on my highlighter. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't, right? So what I like to do first for highlighter is use the uh, Sephora brand, and this is the Radiant Luminizing Drops. And they have a few versions of this, but I have it in Morning Light. What I do is shake it up first. And this is a pump, so I just take my pump, get the product in there, and then place it on the back of my hand, put a little drop there. And then I take a beauty blender and dip it in that little drop and kind of disperse it on there so it doesn't go on my face weird. And I dab it on too. The high points of my face. And this is just a really nice natural glow. It comes out really beautiful. This is without and this is with. It's very natural. I love it. And I take some of that, put it on my fingers, and just do that onto my cupid's bow as well. I can't stop there. You can stop here if you want to, but I can't stop here because I'm just crazy and addicted to highlighters. So I go in with my Laura Geller Gilded Honey and I just place that right on top of where I put the liquid drops. And I'll use my e.l.f. blush brush. Even though it's a blush brush, it's perfect for highlighting. I mean, come on, just with the drops, with the Gilded Honey, just amps it up just a little bit. I take my e.l.f. contour brush, and I really like this brush because it's nice and small. And I go into my Gilded Honey here and just place that along the bridge of my nose. And then the tip. And then my Cupid's bow. And then the inner corners of my eyes as well. Just for that all over glowy effect. And basically you are all done. And this is my everyday 
neutral face really easy really quick to do but don't forget to set it all and I'm going back with my pixie spray all right guys and that's all for today this is my everyday natural glowy look that is my everyday look I do this uh, for work or if I just want to uh, get out real quick if I'm just going somewhere um, This is my neutral everyday look and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys try it out for yourselves and um, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching guys Peace.